Yes? Yep. Okay, here we are at the American Parkinson's Disease Association annual walkathon, and the sun's behind me. Mark Siegel, who I can't see through the camera, but who I know very well, is our president and main man for how many years? About seven. Seven years. He looked, he's looking really good. Um, this is an example. We're doing short videos. Right. I just told you, Mark, about uh, the symptoms. And Mark has had uh, DBS. DBS. Will you tell us just a little bit about Deep it? Deep brain stimulation. They run a electrode into the deep part of my brain in the, I forget the names of these things because my memory is shot. Basal ganglia? Basal ganglia. And then they create a little magnetic field which helps block some of the dyskinetic energies and some of the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Your posture has changed um, tremendously since the, the, yeah. in the last year and a half. It's, I used to be curling up, holding my head down to the side and hunching my shoulders. And mm -hmm. immediately after the disease, I started holding my head up again and my shoulders back. Right. He was. Could you do a little of the shoulder action? And the, yeah. And and that movement. Uh, yeah. Your head. It's amazing. It's amazing. And you had it on both sides, right? Yeah. You can see the. Scars. It looks like I had my horns removed there. Well, but I told you, <laughs> could you point to them? Because I can't see too well. Actually, I see my eye in here. He says, Mark says there is horns, but he doesn't really have horns. <laughs> He's kind of an angel. No, not really. Devil and angel. So that's uh, what's happening with DBS. And, um, well, it's the most popular thing to do if you're uh, Parkinson's. But it's not, a, it's not 100% and it's not a cure. Um, the disease progresses, so you still need to take your medications. But for a while, my symptoms are significantly improved. And about, I understand, 5% or 10% have put it in and it doesn't work. At Somet all? Sometimes that's due to placement, not precise enough placement in the brain. Well, how does that work, Mark? There's a, they put a battery right here and you I've got a battery under the skin in my chest. Mm -hmm. And then a wire runs up into my neck, behind my ear, and up to my scalp. And you go to a doctor re regularly to see if the charge is working? Or how, how does that work? I have a little device, a little remote control that I put up against the battery pack on the computer that sends the charge out, and it'll tell me whether it's on or off. And I can turn it on if it goes off. Sometimes going through security, in department stores or um, in a, the Radio Shack has strong security measures. Oh, so like when you but go to know. Radio Shack and you steal all those CDs and stuff, you Turns just say, DBS. you just say, yeah, and they go, oh, cool, <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. And um, I can't go through airport security. I have to get patted down. Um, Does that bother you? No, I enjoy it. And, <laughs> I bet you do. They said, we can take you to a private room if you like. And I go, no, right now, here's mine. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to go down to your shirt here. Parkinson's Beach Brigade 2011. I was late this morning. I overslept fighting for a cure. Um, I ask you, do you know uh, anybody personally who's had DBS, double DBS, and, and it's not worked? or Yes. From the, the get-go? or? Um, this person had an, an infection in the wound that they, you know, the, where they built through the hole in your scalp. Oh, after it was done? Yeah, lingered on and they had to take it out. Whoa, you take antibiotics though, right? Yeah, it, it didn't do permanent damage to him, but oh. he has an extra hole in his head. An extra hole. He needed horn. that like a hole in his head. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mark is very funny, always. Um, but as far as like, uh, I've heard people getting it and then like a year later, something going wrong or yeah, sometimes because the wire it's not breaks. perfected or well, I think shit happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think it's as far as I know, there's never been a fatal issue, uh -huh. anybody dying from it. But I think there are infections and broken wires and mm -hmm. wrong placements that screw it up. 
Well, I... That's right. According to go to a physician who's done a few of these operations. Don't be, the, don't be his first. What's that? Don't be his first. <laughs> right. <laughs> like your dentist. Um, uh, and how much... A couple more questions. How much uh, medication do you still take and what do you take? I take cinnamon five and how times often? a day. How much? Five, five times? times a day. 100? 25. Over 100. Uh -huh. I take a mantadine. 100. A hundred w once a day? Five times a day. Tasmar, five times a day. What is that for? Tasmar is instead of uh, Stilevo. Instead of Stilevo? Yeah. Okay, so you take cinnamon, but you don't take Compton to extend right. the... Um, the Tasmar is Compton and Stilevo. It has both of it, right? Yeah, something like that. I have it all written down somewhere. I take Calm 10 with um, Cinemet, and Jeff recommended Dr. Bronstein Azalect. Yeah, I take Azalect. Oh my God. So then I heard from that ta Talia Ar Taliari, or Taliari, yeah. actually, I haven't met him, was not so big on Azalect, it didn't matter. And we tried to get it because I re I'm wearing off fast. And um, it was $500. So Jeff was going to, and Henrietta were pulling some strings, but it was very difficult. And when I heard, t t is it Taliette? Tagliati or something like Talia that. Had said that, I said, forget it. So what do you think? Well, it hasn't done me any harm as far as I can tell. So five times a day, are you I don't, I'd only take that once in the morning. Oh, really? Yeah. How, how much do you pay for it? I don't know. I get it. Remitters? My insurance. The I pay county? $10 co-payment. Well, I know I have uh, Medicare and Medi-Cal, and they, were, they just had nothing to do with it. Um, last question. Uh, last question. I know. I'm sorry, Mark. Um, it was right there. Uh, oh, okay. Tonight? No, wait. Yeah, what are you doing later? <laughs> um, yeah, I wanted to hear you singing, that's for sure. I'd like to sing with you. I've been thinking a, a lot about you and singing, and um, I went through really heavy depression since I saw you, and it was like... Morphine, okay, I've got that in the future, and it, it was it was heavy, family, and then I started letting, well, you know, letting go and not having to explain myself, and whoever wants to come as an ally, great, and, and discerning between that, how much energy I was expending that was dissipating, right. and I'm getting so much work done, and I have a lot of what I told you about what I wanted uh, to, to investigate and, re, you know, money for for quality of life, I'm, I'm doing. Great. And a, a lot of therapy, and um, I'm in the pool over at the Y. And fortunately, I'm a swimmer, and there's no pain there because I never had pain. Right. I uh, never had lower back surgery. Okay, so I'm chill. What the last question is? Um, you take a mantadine. I took a mantadine years ago when only my foot was going at the uh -huh. typewriter, and it 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 uh, made my eyes blur, and my my vision. De deteriorated quickly and we didn't know what it was and we between the op optometrist and, and Jeff we found out so I went off of it so I'm not on anything now and, and since I don't know about six months now things you know when, when I'm excited and I m just wanted to tell you and see if you had an opinion um, well every medication affects every person differently yes it's a shame I, I feel very fortunate I haven't really had an episode bad medication so I've got a pretty tolerant stomach and I've got a I have not a tolerant stomach yeah so I really feel badly for those who have a rough time because I know the medication can be very powerfully good so amantadine didn't do anything to your vision I don't know I have terrible vision well, so it could be that I, did, I used to have great vision well you mean to close up vision right I, Are, can, I need a my glasses have three levels of. Mine are like 3.50. Oh. <laughs> so what what is what is there right in the graph? What do you see right there? Can you see that there? Teeth marks. Yeah, exactly. I'm just getting you, <laughs> Mark. I really appreciate you talking about GBS, and I want to thank you for all that you've done for us, and um, just pray that we're all taken care of and that your transition now into your retirement is a happy one and that you. Do what you want and take your time. Thank you. I love you.
of you. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Thanks.